Hey guys, so I've been all night been tossing and turning about this um, Princess of Cups, this Page of Cups and um, what message or download I've been receiving is what the 5D soulmate, what their higher self wants to apologise to each sign about. So we'll see this come up in the readings and people can say well I haven't had an apology some of you have had an apology um, but maybe the clearer message didn't come through so in today's readings I want to look at what their 5d self what their higher self wants to apologize to each zodiac about so I hope that you guys will enjoy this message enjoy these videos please like share subscribe watch your moon and rising signs to help you get a clearer message and we'll go on with the readings hey taurus let's see why your soulmate wants to apologize to you eight of swords uh, sorry eight of wands jumping out very quickly there so we'll keep that there while we shuffle the cards this soulmate that wants to apologize to you could be a lover a family member a friend um a lot of people need to apologize to you a lot um <laughs> so i think it would be a romantic partner and family and friends um acquaintances things like that i feel like there's so many people that need to apologize to you but you seem like this happy go lucky person and you keep things moving forward trying to stay in the positive energy trying to keep things together trying to keep things moving in the right direction here five of swords nine of swords i just want to see what that nine of swords was because it was going to pull up there let's see even when you're hurt um you keep trying to keep things together for everything else keep things moving keep things positive oh it's there anyway um the funny thing was the six of swords was at the bottom and when i pulled the nine of swords and i said because i wanted to see what it was so i guess it was meant to come out anyway um so it could be that you keep things to yourself all these worries all these concerns to try keep everybody moving in the right direction try and keep everybody level and clear-headed and happy you know like say you know like a parent would do to a child and you're like okay you don't want them to worry and things like that it's like you who holds everything together and you're the one who's hurting the most and maybe even being betrayed the most to your heart broken uh five of swords so you know you're carrying these three swords with you two swords are here three swords are here um so it's like this person they're sorry they gave you sleepless nights it could even be your own children right or your own parents it's family friends romantic per person or colleagues here um this person is sorry they judged you wrongly it's like they jumped to conclusions um, and they judged you wrongly. They didn't see all this hurt inside you. Um, they just thought, saw the outside, what you wanted people to see, this happy-go-lucky, not that they would cause you these sleepless nights and anxiety and this stress. And they thought you would easily move past this and get over it and everything like that. That's what you show the world. Like, yeah, I'm not bothered. I can do anything, you know forget relationships um you know it's like pretending to the whole world that nothing hurts you so the thing about that is when you become so good at it people think that these things don't hurt you it's no excuse but this person's sorry they didn't see the huge hurt you had deep inside of them the traumas the triggers that you was trying to hold it all together for the greater good to, to move forward <clears throat> to a better place it's like hold it together like if we can just make it to this place we'll be happy we'll be fine so it's like you was trying to hold it together maybe there was arguments disagreements and you seen the connection was bad but you tried to think okay well you know not everything's perfect in life through thick and thin 
for sickness and health, we're, we're supposed to stay together and hold it together. And I think when this person moved away from you um, <clears throat> with the Six of Swords, this Nine of Swords here, it, brought, it either brought your awakening here and more challenges your way. Um, it's like... It's like this thing that just snaps in you like what I've done everything and this person had the cheek to leave me um, <clears throat> so you're the one who ended up heartbroken here from them leaving you could be that you found out some messages um, that you was arguing about here um, and this person just turns their back and walks away from you like I can't deal with that I'm not gonna argue with that and walks away um, even it could have been miscommunications or things like that this person refusing to take any sort of blame it doesn't always have to be like a third party um like i say this could be a friend family whoever is most on your mind this person truly truly um believed the avatar that you was holding up that you could you're strong and you can get over everything and you know you can hold everything together you can they truly believed it, what you was trying to sell them. And I feel like in, it could have been like in part that um, you felt that there was a way forward. You didn't want to be a burden. So you've always been this masculine energy leading and providing and, um, you know, doing your love language could be action here. And they made a judgment call and they was wrong and they're sorry for judging you on that and you could even be saying they would try to judge me i was the one doing everything and they know that now they also know like the extreme hurt they've caused you and you know if they was to say that to you they feel like you would say well it's too little too late you'd still put on that bravado or bravery and that ego comes to the front to try and protect you there either you've gone into a hermit mode after this awakening or you are still allowing ego to say i'm fine but i believe this time with it being a nine that this was something you couldn't just easily brush under the carpet like maybe other things you had to feel it you had to maybe even express it with the eight of wands you had to say it and maybe to people you was coming off as argumentative or hostile because you're like well you know you <laughs> you'd had so many things you'd been covering for and then you know family and friends got it so it could be like people starting to leave your life um with the six of swords not just one person it could have been having like a domino effect where you know one person left you and you sort of like started to crumble like the tower that's what i'm seeing uh like all that facade falling away and you telling people and standing in your power and saying you did me wrong i'm not going to accept it anymore and people reacting to that like you're difficult with them but it's because you'd carried all the hurt the pain the heartache the burden with you for everybody trying to hold it together every time they betrayed you or something you'd allow them back and say okay you know i'd forgive them and things like that and then all of a sudden they go and there's no explanation even though every time they messed up you forgave them and took them back right and then they say, oh, well, you're like that. And it's something minor because the five of swords is this changing you. Through pain, hurt. So they're sorry that this, that they hurt you and this hurt changed you. I feel this was a change for the better though okay so i do see that you face challenges but i do see this change being a spiritual awakening so that nobody can walk over you again um 
because you might have been doing this for a long time in your life, allowing people and forgiving them, even when they didn't ask you. So let's say you had an argument with somebody and then when something happened, they communicated with you and you communicated back. So they were not asked for forgiveness, but you sort of brushed it under the carpet and forgave and allowed it. And then you've come to this boiling point, feels like, that, you know, why should I keep forgiving people? Why should I keep taking it? And that's what the divine is saying to you. Why should you keep taking this crap? Why do you keep taking this crap? So tell them, get it out, let it grow. Say what you got to say. If you lose people, they're not meant to be with you. If they grow, change and you meet again, you are meant to be. If you guys elevate and meet each other at a higher vibration, you are meant to be together. But these people have been causing maybe so much distress and it feels like a lot of people around you. So it could be that this, you've been like trying to please people around you and you never can because if these people can't please themselves, you can't. This soulmate in particular that you're thinking of, Taurus, they did judge you, but this is something that you were trying to project to the world. This was your ego that they saw. So this time I feel like if you had this spiritual awakening, you went through a great pain to change you. A huge transformation. They are sorry that they judged you and didn't allow that hurt to even be a factor in their judgment. I do believe this person will eventually communicate this to you when you're in a better place yourself. Eight of Wands, this is communication coming in, blockages being removed after the change has happened sometimes probably in mercury retrograde before the change has happened but we can end up with miscommunications and people leaving again um in the six of swords moving on to something that's easier quieter smoother road ahead rather than these challenges and obstacles so this is why it's better to communicate outside the retrogrades good luck taurus